And I'm kind of like annoyed because who the heck am I supposed to have kids with if the dating pool is trash? Like, please let me know. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I hope you all are doing well. So I am excited to film today because I am filming a basically a get ready with me. I'm going to be using all black owned makeup products and we're going to be chatting a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of a girl chat. So I am very excited. I get to finally sit down, record a video and talk to you guys. As you can see, I've already done my brows. I do them off camera because it takes way too long and I used my crayon case eyebrow pomade in the shade dark brown so I love this pomade I've been using this pomade for maybe like two or three months now I want to get straight into foundation because I'm actually really excited to try it I've only heard great things about it and the last two times I tried to film this video the other foundation that I was using was not working it was the mented foundation stick that did not do well with my skin. I've seen it on other people, but my skin looks so textured and it, it was not smooth at all. So I'm guessing maybe with my type of skin, it's not gonna work. So if you have my kind of skin, beware. Of course you can try whatever you wanna try, but just be cautious. But today's foundation that I'm gonna use is the Juvia's Place Foundation. It is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. This is how it looks. And I have the shade Aruba 510. Um, I'm a little nervous because I squeezed a little bit out before I started filming and it's looking a little light. So I have my Born This Way foundation here just in case it's a little too light, but um, I wanna, yeah. Yeah, that's a little light, but I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try it. And if I have to mix it, then I'll mix it. All right, so here we go. That's very thick and very light. All right. Um, it doesn't make sense to keep going. This is entirely, entirely too light for me. Way too light. And this is what you get, ladies and gentlemen, when you can't go into the store and um, try on foundation. So yeah, I'm just gonna wipe that off. That was a no. Um, <laughs> well, okay, so from what I can tell with this foundation, it's very thick. It's very thick and it's definitely a matte foundation because it was no shine in that whatsoever. Like you can tell it's a matte foundation. So I'm gonna say from seeing other people use this and from just the brief moment it was on my face, it's definitely matte and it's definitely full coverage from what I've seen on other people. So once you find your right shade, I mean, go ahead and do what you gotta do. Go ahead and purchase it if you would like to purchase it. This is not my shade, so I'm gonna have to find something else. So I'm gonna go in with my normal foundation. This is the Born This Way Matte Foundation. It's not black owned, I know, I'm sorry. As you can see, I tried, but the foundation game is just not working out for me when it comes to the black owned companies. I don't know, I don't know. So we're gonna keep going. This is more like it. So, how are you guys doing? It's been such a long time since I've sat down and spoken to the camera, just had a chit chat. You guys know that um, I used to do girl chat videos 
on my channel because I love to talk about topics that I'm passionate about. And um, I actually want to bring it back, but I really want to make sure that my channel has a niche, like there's something that I'm actually focusing on on my channel. Basically, I've decided that I'm going to just focus my channel more on skincare and beauty and sprinkle in some lifestyle here and there because in the long run, I do want to do more lifestyle content like vlogs and stuff like that. Um, right now, my life isn't as interesting to do vlogs, I don't think, but I'm also a fan of vlo boring vlogs. So basically like people just doing what they do in their life, like not really trying to make um, really exciting content, I guess. So yeah, you guys let me know how you feel about that. By the way, we are almost at 800 subscribers, which is crazy. My goal is obviously a thousand. Um, so I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. So yeah, um, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what has been going on behind the scenes as far as like creating content and uploading and all that stuff. I have been having such a hard time like such a hard time yeah it's been very difficult trying to create content within the last maybe six months um as you can tell if you watch a lot of my videos you can tell that it's been very sporadic recently and that's because i've been having such a hard time creating the content uploading the content it's been rough so I'm gonna try out my Juvia's Place concealers. I have the shades 16 and 18. So 16 is the darker one. They're actually both pretty light. I'm gonna use this darker one to start off. It kind of reminds me right off the bat of my Born This Way concealers. So hopefully it performs the same because those are my favorite concealers. So I'm gonna start. Okay. This is creamy as hell, and I'm here for it. All right now, Juvia's Place. Y'all might have just did something, okay? So these can definitely be a dupe for the Too Faced concealers. So I have been learning a lot about perseverance and I have been tried in the fire, okay? I've been tested and tried. And so far, I have not given up, but let me tell you, I've been real close, okay? So I'm gonna just share like one of the bigger uh, tests that I've been put through. And that was when my external hard drive decided to drop and break on me. This actually happened right after I finished editing a video. Girl, yes, I was livid. So my external hard drive, it drops all the time. And my external hard drive has everything in there. So every video that I've ever recorded, um, everything is in there. And um, it's, it's dropped many times. I've never had an issue with it. And today and that day that it dropped, it decided to break. So backstory, I tried to record this video two times before. The first time the makeup came out really, really bad. Like I said, that foundation that I was trying, it was not it. So I had to trash the video. The second time I recorded, makeup came out a little bit better. Um, but the audio, I had no audio on the video. So of course I can't use it. I trashed it. And I said, you know what? To refrain from becoming upset and overwhelmed, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna, you know, take a break, regroup, and I'll try again. The um, Fenty foundation came out, not the foundation, the skin tint 
came out and I said you know what okay I'm gonna try it I actually wasn't going to try it because you know I'm a full coverage kind of girl so I was like huh maybe this one is not for me I'll just sit it out but then I was like no let me just try it see what it does for you know my type of skin no I'll upload my review no biggie I recorded the video the footage came out really nicely everything went well finished editing the video all I had to do was add music to it and upload it as soon as I like exited out of my software and everything the hard drive that has the video on it drops on the ground and decides to never work again when I tell you guys I cried cried like a baby because that was the third time. And you know when things usually happen for the third time, you're kind of like, okay, obviously this is not meant to be. And I'm the type of person that will give up. If something is starting to feel like it's not meant to be, I have no problem letting it go. So I was very close, I was very close. But I decided not to and I decided to just persevere and I heard like a little voice I guess in my spirit say like this is going to happen often this is gonna happen often things like this happen this is normal what are you gonna do about it are you going to give up or are, or are you gonna keep going and it really is a testament to how bad you really want something and I really love creating content. I love doing YouTube. I love posting on Instagram. I love doing that stuff. But every time I try to do something, it always seems like there's an issue. That day was the day that I started to really think about what am I going to do when things don't go my way. So I'm going to set my concealer with my Mented Loose Setting Powder in the shade Light Tan. I actually used this before and I think it works pretty well. So it was that moment that I really made the conscious decision to not give up, okay? Um, every time that there's an issue, anytime that there's something that happens that tries to discourage me, I'm really going to try to make it my duty to understand how important this is to me and how important, like how bad I really want to make this work. Even today, like I was literally on the verge of tears, on the verge of tears because I'm so freaking frustrated about things not working out for me. This is Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I know it's not black owned, but, but yeah, I was really frustrated about things just not working out, just constantly always having to deal with things not working out. And I was literally on the verge of tears today, but... What stopped me from crying was the fact that I know that I have to record two videos today. I know. And one thing about me is if I really want something, I won't give up. If I feel like it's not for me, best believe I will. But if I want something, I'm not going to give up. And that is what I'm, that's the energy that I'm trying to um, put forth when it comes to this. I just want y'all to understand that the noise is also something that irritates me. I'm really trying to push through, y'all. I'm really trying to push through. Um, so that's just my encouragement to you guys. If you are doing something and it feels like literally the world is against you, keep going. If it's for you, if you know that God said it's for you, keep going because he said that the weapons will form. He never said they will prosper, okay? So I'm going to go in with my matte book palette from the crayon case. I love Supa. I don't know about y'all, but I love her so much. So I was really happy that I was able to finally pick up some things from her because listen, the girls know and they be selling out all the time. Maybe like these three brown shades, I'm just gonna mix them 
and use that all over my eyes you guys know i'm not a big eyeshadow person so we're really just trying to go for you know my regular regular look today and i've already used this palette and i love it it's very pigmented one of my brushes is actually stained from a green color yeah so it's definitely pigmented but you do have to be careful because it might stain your brush another thing i wanted to talk about was dating i want to talk about dating usually i don't like to talk about this topic because i feel like everybody talks about it and it's like something that's like talked about way too much but recently i've been thinking about it because i'm how old am i i'm about to be 27 i'm about to be 27 and i've never been in like a serious serious relationship so i'm like you know what maybe i'll stop you know being a child and just like really give someone attention but i'm be i've been having a hard time with it because i don't want to settle I do not want to settle. That's one thing that I absolutely don't want to do. And I feel like the dating pool is, it's not, it's not giving. And I'm kind of like annoyed because who the heck am I supposed to have kids with if the dating pool is trash? Like, please let me know. You guys can let me know like how, how your dating life has been. If like you're single and you're open to it, like, let me know how it's been going for you because it has not been going that good for me. I just feel like I struggle between having standards and having like deal breakers when it comes to men. But then I also understand that sometimes, sometimes we can have like unrealistic standards. And to be completely honest, I don't feel like mine are unrealistic. Um, and I feel like my, Honestly, like my deal breaker is really just not having a relationship with God. That's like my number one deal breaker. Like, of course, you know, not having a job is not okay. Or, you know, I don't know, being in the streets, that's not my lifestyle. So I don't want anyone that is in that lifestyle. Um, but I think my number one deal breaker is not having an actual relationship with God. Because to me, that's really important. I pray, I read my Bible, I talk to God, and I feel like um, if my partner can't do that with me, if I can't count on them to consult with God or pray or anything like that while we're in a relationship or married, it's not going to work out. So that's like one thing where I'm just like, I can't excuse that. You know what I'm saying? And recently, I feel like the people that I have been coming in contact with aren't bad guys like they aren't people that i wouldn't necessarily date but it's the deal breakers that i have that they're not living up to so i've just i've been struggling a little bit thinking you know maybe i ought to just give someone a chance even if they have you know areas that i feel are 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 deal breakers um and then I also struggle with that because it's like, why am I wasting my time and why am I wasting their time if we both understand that we're not dating to just play around? Like, we actually want to, at one point, you know, spend the rest of our lives with each other and be married and stuff like that. What is the reason for me just saying, okay, well, I'll just date them, knowing that there's no long term intention with them? So I'm, that's the dilemma that I'm having. It's like, do I date? Do I date knowing that I don't see myself having a long-term relationship with them? Or do I just, you know, stick to what I'm doing now, which is just not wasting my time. Just don't waste your time and just date who you feel actually meets those like non-negotiables even though there's other things that maybe I don't really like, but they meet the non-negotiables, maybe give them a chance and see where it goes. But it's like, at the end of the day, I don't want to waste my time, you know? So I'm having that dilemma. I always feel like I have to, you know, 
kind of know i have to kind of know where the relationship is going i know if i see myself being with them even though i know like you know every relationship won't work out i'm gonna bronze with my um mentor bronzer in the shade vacay even though i know every relationship is not going to work out i still have to see something that makes me say okay i could see myself being in a long-term relationship with them if you get what i'm saying i know everything is not perfect and everything is not going to work out but at the same time i feel like i have to be able to see some type of prog long-term progress you know and with a lot of guys i can't see that because they don't meet my non-negotiables so so i, I i'm kind of struggling when it comes to that because i'm like do i like what do i do like do i waste my time like that's how it seems in my head it seems like i'm wasting my time so do i waste my time <laughs> if i put it that way and give them a chance even though they don't meet the non-negotiables and just basically get that experience of dating or do i stick to what i'm doing and just you know date people who i feel actually i can actually vibe with and connect with on a deeper level because that's really what it is for me too i'm an introvert and i i it takes a long time for me to open up emotionally so if you see me opening up to you emotionally that means that i'm very comfortable with you and you know our relationship is actually pretty serious so that's my thing as well if i can't connect with you then i can't open up to you emotionally and then it's like so now i'm here playing a game in a relationship and that's not what i'm looking for i'm not looking for a play play type of game type of relationship that's not what i'm here for i'm here to find someone that i can actually connect with emotionally on a deep level and be completely honest and transparent and vulnerable with them and then possibly have a long-term relationship a marriage at the end of the day and you know some kids at the end of the day i want some kids <laughs> oh i'm gonna use my fenty beauty powder in the shade butter just to brighten up the corners of my face So yeah, that's my dilemma. And oh, I was saying that my friend actually brought up a good point to me where like just basically how guys think, where it's just like they don't necessarily know when it comes to a girl. They see someone that has the qualities that they want and they're open to seeing where it can go. And that's kind of the opposite of me where I have to know, like I have to know that I see something that can actually make me want to say, okay, I want to try. I want to try to build a relationship with them. With them, they kind of like, well, I, I, I'm not going to say with everyone, but with my friend, he basically was just like, I see characteristics that I like. So I'm willing to see where it goes. And my brain does not think like that. My brain is like, yeah, I see characteristics that I like. Let me feel it out a little bit. Let us become friends and, and become close. And then we both agree to say, okay, we want a relationship. And I was just like, that's a very scary way to think, but I can see how he would think that way. You know what I'm saying? I, I really struggle because I really don't know if I'm setting my standards too, too high, if I'm just, being too picky and i don't want to be too picky but at the same time i want to be comfortable i want to know that this person like i actually you know like them because it's really hard for me to open up and i don't want to just open up to anybody knowing that it's not going anywhere that's how things become really toxic and really strange and i'm just not here for it i don't want any more drama in my life like, I don't want any more drama in my life. I, I live a very drama-free life, and I would like to keep it that way. I am going to use my... Where did I get this from? Oh, so this is Juvia's Place, too. I'm going to use this highlighter from Juvia's Place. It is the Heroin Glow 1. I actually have Heroin Glow 1 and 2. It came as a set. Um, but I'm just going to use Heroin, Heroin Glow 1. And it's a baked highlighter, and it's more of like a champagne type of color. Heroin 2 is more pink and blush. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to add this. I'm going to dust off the rest of this powder.
and I'm going to set my face with my Fenty Beauty um, What It Do spray. So I'm gonna go in with my All Nighter spray by Urban Decay. Of course, it's not black on. Don't worry. I forgot to put on blush, so I'm gonna use my cream blush from Fenty Beauty Summertime Wine. This is like my favorite blush. I'm just gonna use that. I forgot to talk about my Mented Bronzer. I love this bronzer. Like it's so pigmented, I freaking love it so freaking much. It's the shade Vacay. I have Vacay and Yacht Life. Yacht Life is a little bit darker. This one is perfect for me. Sometimes I mix them if I wanna be extra, but I love, love, love this bronzer. Um, it's perfect. So yeah, um, dating is pretty hard for me. I just, I'm just not willing to waste my time. I'm really just not willing to waste my time or anyone else's to be completely honest because I've been in situations like that where we both knew that we were not serious and it was so toxic. Honestly, it was really, really toxic and I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to go through that again. So I'm really trying to be intentional with my dating life and um, be honest about it and be serious because I'm so used to people not being serious the moment that someone is serious I'm just like whoa wait a minute whoa 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 this is not what I thought would happen and then I'm a Libra so like we flirt we we innocently flirt so we never expect for it to actually become serious so the moment that it does become serious we're just like wait a minute i was just joking just joking yeah i'm trying to be an adult about it i'm trying to be serious because i'm getting up there and i want to i want to settle down now like i want to be um in a relationship and be happy and like love somebody <laughs> instead of just being this lonely girl so yeah that's my dating life I guess I can do my lips and talk about my business. So if you guys don't know, I actually have a business. It's called Made Like God. And right now we are selling athleisure wear. So you can get a sweatsuit, you can get a t-shirt, and you can also get a dad hat on my website. It's in the description box below, madelikegod.com. And I basically started the brand because I wanted people to understand how important it was to find your purpose in God and allow God to lead your life so that you can live a purposeful life, a successful life. And um, that's what I've been doing. So I wanted to be able to share that with the world. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram. That's where I post all the good content. It's made like God, very easy, very simple. Um, and yeah, so made like God is one of those things that I started and after a while it intimidated me. It scared me because it caused me to come out of my comfort zone and be the person God wants me to be. Like it forced me to to become that person. And of course life is not it's not easy. It's not like one straight line. So of course you're going to have ups and downs. And that's exactly what my life is. I have ups and downs. And with that business, I feel like my life constantly has to be on 10. And what I'm trying to learn is that it doesn't have to be on 10, but it always has to be real. I always have to be honest. That is what has been um, on my mind heavy. So I haven't posted actually on the Instagram in a really long time because I've really just been trying to regroup and um, plan out some more content 
because I really want to expand this brand into more than just clothes. I want it to become a community where we all can be honest and be free in who we are and share our experiences and help each other and support each other. That's what I want to build. I want to build a community. So um, I'm trying to create content and come up with content that reflects that. And it's been really difficult. It's been really difficult. This is my first year of business. So I have learned a whole lot about the business side of things. It's a lot of things that I really wish I didn't do, but of course it's my first year of business and I'm learning. So yeah, it's really been on my mind heavy. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's been something that has been plaguing the back of my mind. So content is coming soon because I've actually planned out a lot of stuff and um, created stuff. So the content is coming soon. I have a lot of ideas. I'm just, uh, I just need to set the date of when we're coming back. I still have merch on sale. I still have sweatsuits on sale. If you want to support me, the link is down below for you to go ahead and support. But yeah, that's how it's going. It's the first year of business, so it's just going. I can't say it's going good. I can't say it's going bad. But anytime someone asks me, how's the business going? It's going like it's there it's going so i am going to use my mented lip pencil in the shade night i have been obsessed with this lip pencil it is so freaking good okay it's this nice chocolatey lip pencil and what i love the most about it is that it is so creamy it's so creamy if you use mac lip pencil in the shade chestnut you will know how dry it is this is the complete opposite. It's so creamy. So that is a lip pencil. And then I'm also going to use my Mented Liquid Lipstick in the shade Peachy Keen. I got this um, combination from Face Over Matter. It looks so gorgeous on her. So I was like, I want to do it. I want to try it. Like, look at how pretty this lip color is. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, so freaking pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the finished look. I really like it. I think it came out really nicely. The skin looks really, really good. So I think I found some good stuff to incorporate into my routine. These concealers are bomb. I love it. I love these. They're super creamy, exactly how I like them. And they're also full coverage. So these are a definite yes for me. I love them. They work just like my Too Faced concealers, so I'm very happy about that. Full coverage and very creamy. Love it. For like the past three months, I haven't used anything other than the Crayon Case Brow Pomade. So if you need a brow pomade, I suggest you go ahead and get you some. I know people are more into pencils and stuff like that now. I'm still team pomade like i just can't i can't stop using them i'm gonna forever use it so yeah my bronzers from minted anything minted except for that foundation use it because my bronzer my lip uh lipstick this lip pencil staple i don't use nothing else and the powder i mean hello like Mented, you did your thing, you did your thing. It's just that foundation stick, I'm just not, I'm not here for it. But everything else is bomb, period. Juvia's Place, you did it with the highlighter, it's, it's gorgeous. I have nothing bad to say about the products that I use. The only thing is, this foundation is a little too light for me, but I am going to purchase it again on a different color because I think that I'm gonna like this. It's thick, 
and it's full coverage, that's exactly what I want. So I'm definitely going to be purchasing this and trying it and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. Most likely I'm going to give an update on my Instagram so go ahead and follow me over there so you can stay updated with your girl. Listen, the fire content is over there. You gotta, you guys gotta go over there. You guys let me know what you think about the topics that we spoke about today, especially the one with relationships because I am very confused. I don't know what I should do, what I should think. So give me some advice down below. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure that you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.